Hello, today it is healing prayer for alcoholism. We want to pray that God will break the chains of drunkenness in your life, the chains of alcohol addiction in your life and set you free. We have people that have been uh, abusing alcohol for 25 years and the Lord Jesus set them free and set them free indeed and we believe that as you agree with us in prayer you prayed from the bottom of your heart and you purpose to go and do what you are going to pray today the lord will set you free from all addiction in the name of jesus first of all the bible tells us that kings are not supposed to be drinking wine princes are not supposed to be also drinking a strong drinks like a beer vodka whiskeys so we are not supposed to touch any alcohol beverages because god wants us to be kings and praised unto him so when we drink alcohol our judgment is most of the time perverted and we end up sinning against god and god does not want us to be sinning against him and furthermore the bible tells us that no drunkard shall inherit the kingdom of god so we want to be united with God and we want to be in his kingdom and no drunkard shall inherit the kingdom of God. So today we want to repent, to repent and leave alcohol to those who are perishing and going to hell. Leave uh, wine to those who have a heavy heart because they will drink and they are trying to forget the poverty, they are trying to forget what they are going through in life they are trying to drown the problem but we would face our problem whatever the problem is that caused us to drink loneliness divorce and the thing, feeling that we were rejected by the society those things are the things that are causing us to be drinking so that we would forget our problem the stress at work but Jesus is saying to us that we should come to him with our problem and confront those problems instead of drinking them up and we pray today that the Lord will help you to break that uh, addiction of alcohol and set you free. So the Bible says if we confess our sins, and drunkenness is a sin, and no drunkard shall inherit the kingdom of God. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sin of drunkenness and to cleanse us from all and our righteousness as we repent towards God because it is the law of God that we have broken and we put our faith towards Christ Jesus he will save us he will deliver us and he will heal us so pray this prayer with me father I come before you and I acknowledge that I am a sinner I acknowledge that uh, being a drunk being uh, addicted to alcohol is a sinning against you so I repent towards you my father because i have sinned against you and against you alone i have sinned and my drunkenness has destroyed my relationship with the people my relationship with my loved ones and i have made the mess out of my own life today i'm crying out for help i've reached the end of the road i have nowhere else to go unless you help me today I cannot see any way out of this situation. So, Father, in your infinite mercy, I ask you to forgive me of my drunkenness, to forgive me of my sins. And I ask you, by the blood of Jesus that was shed at Calvary 2,000 years ago, he died for me on the cross. I don't want to perish uh, without knowing Jesus. So I put my faith in Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus come and wash away all my sins and make me as white as snow. Let the blood of Jesus come and not just forgive all my sins, but also wash away those sins out of my life and also wash away that drunkenness and that addiction out of my life for the glory of God. Yes, Jesus Christ, I thank you because today that I've confessed you as a Lord over my life and I forsake all the other gods to serve you, Jesus Christ. You have made me now king and a priest. So as a king, I should no longer be drinking wine as I've read in the book of Proverbs. And as a prince, I should no longer be drinking strong alcohol because you have made me a king and a priest unto our God 
who is now my father because I'm a born again. It is all for the glory and the dominion of my father. And I bless you, my King Jesus. I give you the praise because now I'm your son. I'm the son of God. And now I'm a king and I should no longer be drinking wine. Now I say no to wine because i am a king i say no to strong alcohol beer vodka and all the other beverages that have alcohol in them i say no because i'm israel now prince with god i'm a new creation now all the things in me are passed away and behold all things in me are new and all things in me are of god there are no more desire for alcohol in my life there are no more desires for wine in my life because i'm a king now i have no more desires of strong alcohol either because i'm a prince with god so father i thank you because today you have heard my cry and i know that you always hear my cry now you have given me power to say no to wine and to say no to strong alcohol i say no in the name of jesus because i am a king now and i am your priest for your glory and father i thank you because by the stripes of jesus that was laid on his back two thousand years ago i was healed of this alcohol addiction i was set free i overcame already this addiction because of the blood of the lamb jesus christ and because of the word of his testimony found in the holy scripture that said i'm now a king and i'm now a priest as a king i should no longer be drinking wine and as a prince of god israel prince with god i should no longer be drinking a strong alcohol so i'm set free from uh, wine and i'm set free from strong alcohol b and all those whiskey those vodka i'm set free i'm a teetotaler now in the name of jesus i have overcome alcohol addiction today because of the blood of jesus that not just washed away all my sins but also healed me today of this uh, alcohol addiction for the glory of god and father i thank you not just for the blood of jesus you forgive all my iniquities drunkenness is part of my iniquities and my sins and also you heal all my diseases this alcohol addiction today it is healed in the name of jesus because you anointed jesus christ of nazareth with the holy spirit and with a power to destroy addiction in my life and he went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil because god was with jesus and today you are with jesus and jesus is with me today this addiction has been broken by the power of the name of jesus and i thank you because uh, the alcohol is broken in my life the addiction is broken i go into my house i go into my kitchen and into every cupboard and i break every bottle of, of wine i break every bottle of strong alcohol in my life in my house and i destroy the addiction once for all in my life in the name of jesus father just like jesus cursed that fig tree and it withered away and jesus said to me that i should have faith in god and today also i have put my faith in god that i curse this addiction in my life alcohol addiction today i curse you in my life and i command you to come out of my life to be destroyed just like that bottle of whiskey that bottle of uh, the wine is broken and uh, into pieces today also i break you uh, addiction of alcohol in my life i destroy you from my life once for all leave my life immediately and never to return i'm set free uh, that addiction is broken right now and shattered into pieces like that bottle of wine and that whiskey of beer is uh, shattered into pieces in the name of jesus and father i say no to alcohol i have the power to say no to alcohol and i speak to this mountain of alcoholism this mountain of drunkenness in my life i say no more in my life alcohol come out of my system immediately in the name of jesus you will no longer destroy my life because jesus has come that i may have life and have it more abundantly alcohol is the work of the devil he came only to steal to kill and to destroy my life but today christ jesus has entered into my life i will no longer perish because of alcohol in the name of it, but i will live and i will live the life to the fullest because jesus christ gives me his life free from alcohol addiction today in the mighty name of jesus and i speak to you mountain of alcoholism live my life immediately 
in the name of Jesus. And I'm free, free, free today from alcohol in the name of Jesus. I am now a teetotaler in the name of Jesus. And I bless you. I bless you because I will no longer yield my body and all my members as an instrument uh, of unrighteousness to sin in drunkenness anymore. No. My members, my body will no longer be used to be sinning in drunkenness. No. But my body, I would yield it now to God. Voluntarily, I would yield my body to God. No longer to practice sin, but now as an instrument of righteousness to do what is right. No longer drinking wine, no longer drinking alcohol. Never. It is finished in the name of Jesus. Now I will serve the Lord Jesus with my body. No longer in drinking, but I would be holy unto the Lord in the name of for sin, including drunkenness, the sin of drunkenness shall not have dominion over me anymore. Its power has been broken because I am no longer being ruled by the law of sin, but now I am under grace. God is even empowering me to have a life above drunkenness, to have a power to say no to alcohol today in the name of jesus so my members my body i no longer yield them as an instrument of unrighteousness to go and drink and and live like a pig but my members my body i yield them voluntarily to jesus to serve jesus to live a right life to live a holy life free from alcohol alcohol no longer has dominion over me in the name of but i have power over alcohol and i say no to alcohol today in the name of jesus and i go back into my cupboard and i break every bottle of alcohol today in the name of jesus i break every bottle of whiskey every bottle of vodka every bottle of wine in my house and i kick the, the alcohol out of my house today because i have dominion now over my body in the name of jesus and father i thank you because the chains of alcoholism have been broken right now from my hands in the name of jesus and whom the son has made free is a free indeed so i thank you for my freedom from alcoholism i thank you for my freedom uh, over a drunkenness because now you have given me my life back and i have dominion over drunkenness and i trample drunkenness under my foot in the name of jesus whom the son jesus has made free is a friendly i'm king with christ jesus the king of kings so i no longer drink wine in the name of i'm a prince under christ jesus the prince of peace so i no longer drink strong alcohol now that i'm saved and i'm born again god is now my father jesus has made me king and priest unto my father and my god I no longer drink alcohol like those who are perishing in the name of Jesus. And I would heed to the counsel of Proverbs chapter 31. I would give alcohol to those who are perishing. Because now, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son Christ Jesus. So that me that have believed today in him and have turned my life around, I should no longer perish but have everlasting life. Thank you for my freedom that I have gained back today. In Jesus' name, I will serve you. I will no longer go back into sinning, but I will serve you in righteousness and in holiness. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. Thank you very much for today. You can contact us on Facebook and on our website. I look forward to hearing from you. God bless you. Bye.